Your Contact Us page is one of the most overlooked pages on your store, but it shouldn't be. The Contact Us page is a great chance to increase the confidence in your brand and win over more customers. If somebody has a question or a problem, they want to know that they can get in touch with you and they want to know that it's going to be a quick response and that they're going to get their problem solved. So you need to have these pages and they need to be great. But how do you make them? Well, have no fear. In this video, we'll show you how to create a highly functional Contact Us page in Shopify to bring your customers more delight, certainty, and overall satisfaction with your brand. Let's get started. The first step is to select the online store option in the left sidebar of the main Shopify control panel. Then look for the theme you're currently using and select the customize button next to it. This will take you to Shopify's built-in theme editor. Open the drop-down menu listing all the templates in your theme, which is located near the top of your screen. Select pages and then scroll all the way down through your existing templates until you get to the create template option. Let's give this new template a name like contact us. And once we're done with that, we can go ahead and select Create Template. Now we'll be able to design the template for our Contact Us page by using the editor. The left sidebar of the editor also displays all the sections that make up the page listed in order. You can click on Add section to insert a new one. These options will depend on which theme you're using. The Contact Form section offered by Shopify's default Dawn theme is perfect for this page. The Dawn theme also gives you a few ways to customize this Contact Form section, such as writing a new heading, changing the size of the heading, and changing the color scheme. Submissions of this form will be sent to your store's current sender email address. Also, you can adjust the section padding as well. Next, let's imagine that you want to add some information about your store's physical location. A new multi-column section would work well for that. For this example, we'll remove the heading in this section, and then we'll also delete the button label, which gets rid of the button altogether. That gives us just these three columns to work with. For the first one, we'll get rid of the placeholder text and then plug in the address of our business. As you can see in the left sidebar, Dawn offers some customization options for this section as well, allowing you to add an image, make text bold or italicized, and add a hyperlink. In this next column, we'll add our business's hours of operation. This information is certainly worth publishing if your Shopify store has a physical location that's open to customers. So let's go ahead and say that our hypothetical business is open from Monday to Friday, and we'll put the hours down as something standard like 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And then in this last column, we'll provide a phone number that customers can use to contact us. Again, all you need to do is remove the placeholder content and then plug in your own. Don't forget to include the area code as you likely have customers outside your local region. One last thing, let's go into the customization settings for the multi-column section and change the color scheme to background two. That will match the color scheme we set for the contact form section above. Okay, now we're done designing, so let's hit this save button in the top right corner of the editor. Then our new template will be finished and ready to publish. Now, for this design to actually be displayed on the live version of our site, we'll need to create a new page to attach the template to. Select the pages option in the left sidebar of the main Shopify control panel. Then click on the Add Page button near the top right corner of your screen. Let's add a title for our new page. Once that's all entered in, we'll make sure that the page is visible. Open the drop down menu in the template section of the settings page and then select the template we just created. Next, hit Save and then we'll click on the View button to check out what our live page looks like. And there you have it. The page has the same clean design that we set up earlier in Shopify's built-in theme editor. You can also use Shogun to build a new Contact Us page for your store. Go back to the Shopify admin and select the Apps option in the left sidebar. Then open Shogun Page Builder. The great thing about Shogun is that this app allows you to customize just about every aspect of a page's design. To demonstrate, let's first hover our cursor over Build or Edit a Page and select the Start from Scratch option. And then we'll need to add a name for our page. You can adjust the URL path of the page here if you'd like as well. Selecting Create New Page will then take us right on over to the Shogun Editor. Let's switch over to the large screen view. Shogun actually lets you design different versions of the page for different types of devices. Click on the Elements icon in the left sidebar to open the Element Library, which contains all kinds of features that you can add to the page by just dragging them into place. The form section of the Element Library is quite helpful for this type of page. Let's drag a form box over. In the right sidebar, you'll see all the customization options available for this element. Let's add in the email address that we want our form submissions to be sent to. We'll also scroll down through this right sidebar until we get to the option for changing the background color of our form box element. 
You can enter the hex code or RGBA values for the exact color you want. Let's now add a heading into our form box. Open the element library again, scroll down, and drag the heading element into place. And let's customize this element too. First, we'll get rid of the placeholder text and write in our own heading. Let's also pick a different font for this heading. You'll find that Shogun offers over 1,800 fonts to choose from. We'll go with Original Surfer as the font for this particular heading. We'll bump the size up as well. And then let's also go down and change the color of this heading. Overall, we're going for a sort of pastel color scheme for our Contact Us page here. Now we'll add some form fields into our form box element. Go back to the form section of the element library and drag a text input element into the form box. Then we'll go to the customization settings and change the label to name. We'll also use horizontal spacing to make the element a little smaller so that the overall design of the page is more streamlined. Let's go back to the element library, scroll down to the form section, and then add another text input element into our form box. We'll label this one email, and we can also make it a required field so that visitors must fill it out in order to submit the form. That red text on the page saying value is required will only be displayed if the visitor tries to submit the form without filling out this field. Okay, let's now add another text input element in for the visitor's phone number. We'll label this one phone. Then we'll set the horizontal margins at 20% again in order to match the other text input elements that have already been added to the page. Next, let's add one last text input element for the actual message that customers want to send us through this form. So we'll label this field message. And for this text input element, we'll change the input type setting from text to text area. That makes more sense for this kind of content. Of course, we'll also scroll down to the spacing settings and set the margins here at 20% again as well. Now every form needs a submit button. Let's go back to the form section of the element library and drag a submit element over to the bottom of our form box. And let's change the font in this button to the same original surfer one we used in the heading that'll nicely tie this page design together. Also, we can change the background color of this button to a pastel color to match that aspect of the design that we've already established as well. Let's just plug the hex color code we want right into this field in the settings here. And a box shadow effect would really help this button stand out. Let's scroll down to the box shadow part of the element's customization settings and set this up. Instead of using a hex code or RGBA values, we'll just use the color picker here. Let's make it a little bigger too. In addition to your form, you might want to add some written content about your contact information to this page. The columns element would be useful for this. Let's set this as three columns, as we'll be adding the same office address, hours of operation, and phone number details that we did in the Shopify example. Then, we'll go to the background color setting for this element and make it a nice pastel green so that it fits our page's custom color scheme. Again, you could just use the color picker if you don't have a specific hex code in mind, like we do here. You can add content to these columns by dragging over elements from the element library. We just need to add text for this example, but you could also add images, video, icons, and much more. As for the text element itself, you'll find that there are many customization options available. You can change the size of the text, make it bold, italicized, or underlined, add a strikethrough effect, etc. You can adjust the alignment of the text as well. This would look better centered, wouldn't it? Shogun even offers some animation options, like having the text zoom into place or shake when the visitor hovers their cursor over it. You could use it if you really wanted to grab the visitor's attention, but that's a little too fancy for what we're doing here. Let's bring another text element over onto the page for our hours of operation. Once more, we're just going to get rid of the placeholder text and then add the content we need for our specific store. We'll put down here that we're open from Monday to Friday, and then we'll go ahead and enter in the hours as 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And before we move on, we'll want to change the alignment of this text so that it's centered and then make the first line bold to match what we did with the first piece of text in this columns element. You can click on the bold icon in the element settings, or you can just use the standard shortcut with your keyboard, like Control plus B. Let's now scroll over to the right so that we can get a good look at this last column here. We'll open the element library, grab the text element, and then drop this final piece of content into place. Yet again, we'll remove the placeholder text that's displayed by default and then write in our own custom content. Another option would have been to copy the content from one of the existing text elements to the left, paste it here, and then rewrite it as needed. That would have carried over the alignment and bold text, eliminating the need to add these styling choices again manually. But we'll just set it all up from scratch once more in order to get this wrapped up. 
Let's click on the Save button near the top right corner of the screen. This will turn into the Publish button, which we can use to add this page to the live version of our storefront. And then we can click on this eye icon and select View Live Page to see what the design looks like on our site, just as if we were a shopper ourselves. All right, there you have it, folks. Now you know how to create a contact us page that is sure to make your customers happy. Link in the description for Shogun Page Builder. Not only can you create awesome contact us pages with Shogun, you can create landing pages, you can recreate your homepage. I think you're gonna like it. I know I'm biased because I work here, but I think you should check it out. Also, if you like this video, remember to hit us with a like and then subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell to get notified when we come out with new videos. We're always coming out with new content about how you can optimize and get the most out of your storefront. And remember, until next time, get after it, enjoy making those contact us pages, and happy selling.